Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, uh, this is, my name is Jennifer. I call myself the Frosted Maple and these are just vlogs. I mainly talk about gardening. Um, I do a little bit of tarot and yeah, stuff. Anyways, uh, for those of you that watched last week's video, uh, you'll know that um, my doctor recently put me on medication, which has resulted in weight gain. And I wanted to get a baseline as to how much um, I'm actually eating in a day. So for a week, I tracked um, all my calories. Uh, I weighed out everything. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, on day seven, I was going to do it for seven days. Uh, I had uh, a get together with friends and so I was unable to weigh things. So I did the average for six days instead of the full seven because it would have been a little weird, you know. When you're getting together with friends and you suddenly whip out a scale like, excuse me, will I weigh this glass of wine? Yes, it's apparently, you know, six fluid ounces. Okay, yeah, that's how many calories? Yeah, that just kind of, you know, it's, it's, it's weird and brings down the mood. So I didn't do that. <laughs> uh, so the six days. Um, so my average for six days is 19 calorie or 19 calories. Wow. 1900 calories is what the average was. The lowest I had was 1500 and the most I had was 2200. Um, so just kind of all over the place. Like I said, 14, uh, one day, like I'm just looking at two days here. One day was 1900. The other day was, uh, 2000. So, um, yeah, just kind of fluctuates around that mark around the 1900 mark. I'm either above or below it. And, uh, and I also looked at what I eat. So I'm proud of myself. I get vegetables in at every meal. So that's a plus. Uh, another plus is I drink plenty of water. So that's awesome. Um, now the downside is I do not uh, eat enough dairy. Um, my calcium is uh, probably a little low. So I... Uh, I need to do that. I do uh, enjoy snacks and apparently my snacks that I particularly like are cookies. So um, cookies, sweets, pastries, that sort of thing. So what I've decided, um, one of the changes I decided to do is I am, this is driving me nuts, here we go. There we go. So one of the changes I decided to do is um, I'm gonna cut down on the amount of snacks. What I do is I, I eat three meals a day. Uh, I like a snack around three o'clock in the afternoon to just kind of tide me over until lunch. And then um, I will occasionally snack in the evening after dinner. It depends on how late I stay up. The later I stay up, the more likely I am to have a snack. So I think I'm going to listen to my body more in the evening. If I'm feeling peckish in the evening, it probably means I should go to bed. So I'm going to try to eliminate my evening snack. Uh, in my afternoon snack, I'm going to switch out to uh, something like a yogurt or uh, cottage cheese, that sort of thing, so I can increase my calcium. Because, I mean, you know, I'm 48, or I'm going to be turning 48 in a few months. And uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, as we get older, we lose calcium and I don't want brill bones or broken bones. You know, I don't want to fall and, and break a bunch of things. So um, yeah, I'm going to increase my calcium. And I think if I do that, um, I think that will reduce my calories. Uh, I mean, 1900, again, being the average, um, I, I think that's pretty reasonable. Um, but I'm going to try to knock it down, um, about 1700, I think 17 to 1800, somewhere around there. Um, and the reason I'm giving a range instead of like, it's going to be 1800 and 1800 only is because you know what? Things fluctuate and I'm not that great. It's like, I, I know myself, I get a little obsessive about making sure it's, it's the even amount. I meet the right amount. And, uh, yeah, I'd go a little crazy and like measuring out little things like, okay, I will have exactly one more peanut. That'll bring me up to a round even number. So <laughs> just how my brain works. 
I don't want to do that. So I'm giving myself a range between 17 and 1800 calories. I think cut it a little bit and hopefully that will cause the scale to go down. Uh, and if not, um, well, I'll reevaluate at that time. But that's what I've decided. Like I said, good news is I'm getting in plenty of water and I'm getting in vegetables at every meal. Uh, bad news is uh, I'm snacking a little too much and the snacks I like uh, tend to be like pastries, cookies, anything kind of sweet, um, sweet and baked. So uh, the changes I'm going to put in, reduce my calories by a couple hundred um, at the most and increase my calcium by swapping out my afternoon sugary pastry sweet treat as yogurt instead. So I think that'll work. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'll, like I said, I'll reassess. Uh, I'll see how the next week goes and just kind of take it from there. Now, if you folks have any weaknesses, um, you know, are you like me? Do you, do you have a snack every now and then? Uh, do you have more snacks than you should? Mm, are we in the same boat? Because we might be. <laughs> um, but if you are, let me know. And if you have any tips or tricks on uh, keeping that, those scale numbers down, again, uh, drop your comment down below. Let me know. All right. Until next week, I hope you all stay happy and healthy, and I will talk to you later. All right. Bye.